The charge of the Light Brigade was to inspire epic literature, most of it romantic nonsense. Hundreds of men were simply blasted to pieces by the Russian guns, and it ignored discipline so irrational and harsh that loyalty in the circumstances was miraculous. Behind Carnegie, leading the 8th Royal Irish Hussars, came one Colonel Frederick Shaw. 134 years later, he has a remarkably frank descendant, Lieutenant Anthony Shaw, serving in the same regiment. Colonel Shaw is my great, 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 great Uncle Frederick. He was a strict disciplinarian and by no means popular with his men. Uh, he was, on the morning of the charge, referred to as the old woman uh, by his men as he came to join them. As he arrived, he found a number of the men smoking. About four or five of them were smoking little pipes with their swords drawn and in the face of the enemy. He considered this to be very taboo and gave them a severe reprimand. Lord Paget, who was smoking rather a fine cigar um, a little way down the line, was in two minds as to whether he should put out his cigar or to continue smoking it. He elected to continue smoking his, uh, despite Shul's reprimands, and in fact smoked it till the end of the charge, some 20 minutes later. A few moments later, Shul rode back down the line and came across some three or so men smoking, yet again, despite his order. He, this time, had them arrested, and that involved the removal of all of their arms, and consequently they rode into the charge unarmed. Two of them were killed, and the third one he had flogged the following day. <laughs>